Hey everybody, how we doing today? Glorious day here in the Florida Keys. Look at that. So I've just got finished waiting for all my deliveries. So I'm out here a little bit late, but I am not gonna pass up this day. So uh, we're gonna do a quick prospecting run out to those islands out there. Cool visibility. Actually, I think there's the one big one on the right, second one, the third one farthest back. I haven't done that one yet. So we're gonna hit there. I'll show you on the map what we're gonna do, but let's get going. And when I say it's a beautiful day, it is a beautiful day. Looky there. Look at that shark. Go shark, go. Nice. Where are the fishies at? Where are you at? Can't hide today. Another shark shark. Where are the big tarpon? Where are the permit? Where are the bonefish? Fishies. All right, so we've arrived. This is West Bahia Key bam the uh southern tip of it at least um so i'm going to just do a little bit of time just kind of checking this island out uh the things i'm looking for are of course fish saw a permit coming in here so that's a good sign uh saw a lot of nice sized mangroves along here a uh, few cuts so far but the things on the island itself i'm looking for is um if there's any side that has a deep cut along the mangroves that's where a lot of fish tend to hang out uh if there's any channels cutting through it because those tend to be like a, the, the fish islands um any bait pockets hanging out uh any overhanging leaves and trees that's going to give shelter from the sun because you see these here are basically barren so it's not really a great spot that they're going to be hiding underneath there all this matted weeds makes it good but if the weeds weren't there they probably wouldn't but uh, they see some mangrove trees down there. Uh, those tend to hang right at to the water's edge. And then so fish kind of hang out underneath there. Um, so those are the kinds of things we're going to look for. I'm going to go around and just see what I see. Uh, like I said, I already saw that permit. So that's a good sign. Looks like it's got good water flow. Um, on the map here, basically, I launched here at the end of the 7 mile. And we are over here at the West Bahia Honda Key. Um, there's a channel here that's got some fishy spots, so they've got it marked. I think those are, there's a sunken boat and then the channel. So probably mangroves, fairly deep, 11 foot. Um, this is the actual island there, a couple feet. Some nice healthy uh, uh, grass around it, so that's good as well. Um, so we're just gonna take a look there. Um, on the way out here, got and met a nice fisherman, I think from Big Pine, told me where some uh, the tarpon are. So I'll probably go take a look there. Um, let's kind of see what we see. So that's the plan. It's all fairly shallow, but some good structure with the trees over here. Not seeing any channels yet. Uh, stuff like that right through there. That's kind of become the fish highways. And it's over deeper water over here as well. Now this is the west side. You can see how kind of uh, dead looking it is. Uh, it doesn't get very much cover um, current on this side. So that's why all this stuff looks kind of unhealthy. Some nice pockets back here. The uh, juvenile tarpon like this kind of water. So I bet you during the warmer summer times, this is packed full of them. I don't know if you can see them, but there's a boat right out there anchored up. I bet you they're right on that uh, shipwreck out in the middle of that channel. And we're coming to the end point here, shark. These are always interesting because this is where the current wraps around. So you tend to get a lot more uh, life over here. All right, I've done my full 360. I got a good gist of the layout of this uh, key here. Um, I could tell right away where the life areas are. Um, it's very easy to see. You just go and then all of a sudden you're going to see sharks, rays, big snappers here, um, bait, um, the grass is cleaner and so forth. 
So I've got all those kind of know where I would need to go so I don't have to kind of waste any time. So I saw some nice pockets where uh, for some flats fishing. I uh, saw some bait spots. So pretty good area. It's got a good mixture of things. So uh, it's always good to know. So now I think I'm going to do is uh, hit a couple of permit spots, flat spots, see if there's any bonefish around, and then maybe check out that uh, tarpon spot as well. So uh, let's probably maybe hopefully do some fishing too. So <laughs> that's the plan. Ooh, there's a permit right there. Right over there. It's kind of going over there. Oh, oh, the kudu went after it. Shoot, those kudu scared it away. Freaking frack. Ah, dang it. There's a school of permit, small ones over there. They're just all lined up. Let's see if I can reach out to them. Couldn't anchor fast enough. They're sitting behind like a log over there. Golly. I don't think I can get past them. Oh, they're just hanging out in that current there. Make sure there's no other ones. The problem is, is that these freaking kudas. I got to push up farther. They're hiding right behind the log in the current. All right, we're going to have to try to sneak up a little closer. I can't throw over their back. They're right there. good I just want to swing it through there to them can't see it but oh came to look at it one of them came to look at it there's a coot over there though yeah they're still there He veered away. Oh, one swam across it. Oh, stinking kudas are on it. Oh, they're just sitting right there. Oh, just right behind that log. Oh, okay, that's perfect. I'm either going to catch the log or I'm going to get it right on them. Oh. Dang it. Oh. I mean, come on, it's right on you. Oh, now I'm snagged. Oh, popped off. That spooked him out of there. Now they're over there. Crap. Figured that was going to happen sooner or later. So that's the log that they were sitting right behind it to get out of the current. That's why I really couldn't get at them because if I threw on this side ahead of the current and then it'd take into the log and I'd get snagged, which I did. Oh. Big tarp in there. He turned the wrong way. Oh, he saw it. He's going for it. Oh, there's another one there. Oh, there's this bunch of them there. Oh, there's there. I need my anchor to get down. The tarpon are here. The tarpon are here. Oh, that scared him.
Weedy, weedy. All right, so those are my first big tarpon, migrating tarpon of the year. That's good to see. Oh, right there. Here they come. They're just following me. Oh, swam right over it. I gotta get this anchor set. I saw a permit as well as I was cruising along. There they are. Bam! I see you. All right, let's see if we can stop and they'll come and say hello. You guys know why I'm here. I don't have the right rigs for you, but doesn't mean I won't try. Come on back. Don't make me bring out the 8-0 snagging mullet hook. <laughs> that is the, oh, you won't bite, will ya? All right, don't worry about it. We'll snag ya. All right, there's one over there. Oh, that scared him. That was a nice, delicate cast. <laughs> There's not really too much we can do because of the weeds here. It's horrible, but uh, they're really not feeding right now. Late in the evening, early morning. Right now, they're just kind of hanging out and checking things out. Not seeing any getting, things getting busted on, rolling, nothing. So I think what I'll do is go finish. There's another one right there. Oh, there's a couple of them. See if I can get in front of those two. Yeah, they're right there. Yeah, for conditions like this, the 80 snagging hook is probably best. But super happy to see these guys around, so that's good. Tarpon season has begun. So in situations like this, it's uh, perfect for a pinfish under a bobber because you throw that out, the bobber doesn't matter if it gets in the weeds and the pinfish will keep swimming down underneath the weeds and then you're just going to drift it across there. So that's about the most perfect bait. Ah, oh, here comes one there. You can see these guys for miles. He's just cruising with the current. Oh, is he looking at it? I'm gonna bump his tail. <laughs> That's the man. That is Mr. Tarpon King. Like a shark. Uh, there's a lot of them around here. All right, I'm gonna go island hopping. Maybe come back here as the sun starts setting. We'll probably be a little better bet. Hopefully this weed situation uh, cycles out and then they start turning on. Throw the paddle tail, I think. All right, sun is going down a bit. That's gonna make it a little better. The tide is turned, so that's good as well. Um, best I could do is I got a, a half ounce, the four-aught, two-x strong jig head, so that part's solid. Uh, the four-inch gold paddle tail, that should uh, entice them here. I'm seeing a lot of pinfish, but they're fairly small. I'd rather have a five inch probably, but uh, this will be do good for now. So uh, I'm just gonna drift. I've been seeing them come by every once in a while and then just see if I can get them to uh, hit this little different movement. That paddle tail tends to kind of put that vibration out there and kind of gets that reaction bite. So let's see if we could find some. That didn't take long. There's one right behind us following us. He wants to see like, I wanna be on the camera. Oh, is it going to follow it? No. Weeds. Yeah, I went about 15 feet and it popped up there, so... Definitely need my push pole. Alright, there's, uh, I think it's a permit tailing right over here. Oh, don't spook them. 
Yeah, right there. Right there. Oh God, I don't know what the freak I'm doing. I need to get closer and I need to anchor up. Oh. Spook them. Oh, there it is right there. Uh, which way is the current is going? Wrong direction. Rig this weedless. All right, show yourself. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, big tail. Oh, I can't see where it went. All right. Swim it back to him. I think that's him over there. That current's ripping. Oh, there he is right there. Oh, right on him. Freaking frack. Oh, that was so, so bad. That was just so bad. Oh, why did I do that? That was just so bad going over there god dang it settle down and come back that was just so bad one last time that was just so bad all righty i think i'm gonna go ahead and call it still got plenty of sun but i got a long ride home uh checked off a lot of boxes today got a hold of that uh, west bahia key out of the way so i know what's there uh found those big tarpons so i know the migration starting and that means my tarpon season starts uh seeing these permit tailing really gets me happy i haven't seen that permit tail in a long time so uh yeah got a good spot for it just come back a little bit more prepared um also would like to probably sit out here until magic hour to see what happens if those tarpons start rolling if i see more permit coming on the flats but uh today it was just kind of get things checked off which i did so i'm pretty happy so anyways thanks for watching and i will see you next video bye